Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you a simple trick in Edit Plus. So, first we need to download Edit Plus. Just search on Google. This is the trick which I recently learned from one of my friend. So, thought I should share it with you guys. Go to the first link, then click on Download. I think the first one is 32 bit and the second one is it is mentioned 64 bit so as I am using a 64 bit machine if you want to check which uh, machine you are using so you need to go to your PC this PC then, then right click and go to properties So here it is system type is 64 bit operating system. So let me go back to Google Chrome and I will download the 64 bit. This is an evaluation version. If you want, you can go for the like the purchased one, which will have more feature. Click on the start download. It will take few minutes. Once it is done, I will be installing Edit Plus. So I will go to my Internet Download Manager. So here we have downloaded. Now we will open it up. It will take some time. So here you go. Click on accept and it will start the installation process. Uh, it is so if you want a shortcut on your desktop, you can click this checkbox. I don't want, so I'm going to un uncheck the checkbox. So now I'm going to click on start copy. It is copying files to my hard drive. Okay, now once it is done, it will greet you with a message setup completed successfully. Now I will go to start and search for edit plus. And we will open this app. As I'm running a, it is showing the license agreement. Just click on yes. Uh, you can click on yes. These are the default settings. So, you can click on trial. Then click on I agree. Next, we can create a normal text page file. You can close this menu. Okay, let's leave it leave it there for now. So I'm going to open another Excel sheet. So we need to open a blank workbook. Now I'm going to type some text. Suppose I take the days. I type Monday, Tuesday. Now I'm going to use this plus icon to get the other days. So once it is done, I'm going to copy all this text. Uh, 
using control C or you can use the by right clicking the mouse and selecting the copy option I'm going to paste all this data I've pasted it now I will search then go to replace so here I'm going to in find what I'm going to type slash t which stands for tab and replace with slash n slash n means new line so first search make sure you have selected regular expression and support slash u slash l slash e so you see it is finding all the tabs now I'm going to click on click on replace all. So all it has been all tabs have been have been replaced by a new line, which is slash n. So this is the complete trick. So basically, you can use this trick to arrange all the data which is present in a row in a column. And you can do the reverse of it also simply by going to search then going to replace and instead of find in find what you need to type slash n which is new line and here you need to choose slash t click on find so it is finding all the new lines once I click on replace all it will again change from the column format to row i hope you like this video and if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section below thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel new tech tricks tv